please give a warm welcome to the legendary, wonderful Kai Pollack. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everybody, hello everybody. <laughs> thank you very much. Just before we begin, think about, I got some questions in my head. Think if it's true that everyone here in this room affects what is happening. I mean, also how we feel when we leave <laughs> this room. Think if it's true. That every, maybe in one room, one body sits like this and thinks, I'm not affecting. And that, of course, not true. So it's fantastic. In this, you have no choice. Think if it's true that what you think also affects what is happening in this room. It's interesting. Think if it's true, if you also are responsible for what is happening in this room. <laughs> but maybe, but he is the one who is responsible. For me, it, it is true that everyone is responsible for what is happening and how we feel when we walk out through the doors. For 30 years, I had a belief that said, I, all depends on you, Kai. And that's very hard to live with that. It's not true. So just now, yeah, I am the last speaker today, and this is the last you hear. Why don't you have been here the whole day? Why don't take, yes, four, five persons in, beside you, behind you, and in front of you, and so on, and say hello. My name is so-and-so, and I'm coming from there. And, oh, so interesting, and so on. Just take five and six persons. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I can tell you that uh, uh, the first time I asked an audience to say hello to each other, it's 10 years ago. I was in a town uh, uh, about 30 miles from here, it's called Örebro. And uh, there were 500 people, and I said, say hello to each other before we start. And they did that, and then I took the train home, and then one year after that, I got a letter. Hello, Kai, we were at your lecture there in Örebro, and we just happened to sit to each other, beside each other, and now we are waiting on the first child. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> you never know what's happening. <laughs> it's interesting. You can look at your neighbor. <laughs> and you can take another neighbor, uh, neighbor tomorrow. <laughs> okay, my God. <laughs> okay. Sabine said, told you that I had the belief I'm not good enough. And uh, I thought maybe I shall tell you about that. 30 years ago, I 
visited, uh, visited a workshop in the United States. And I, oh, it was a very famous workshop, very expensive workshop and so on, and I was very nervous. I was the only, was the only one from Sweden. Oh my God, why I'm here, Ooh, like that. <laughs> and the first day we got a notebook and a pen, and we were around 300 people. <laughs> the first morning that the leader of the workshop, a man, came in and said, OK, write a number on your notebook between 0 and 10. On which level do you prefer to be when you are here? What? Which what? Level? Ah, oh, what shall I take? What kind of level do I want to be? I wonder what the other persons are taking for kind of level. <laughs> oh my God. Then I wrote my number on the paper. Oh, and he had a microphone. And the first one he walked up towards me. Oh my God, take another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name and so on? And from where are you? Sweden. So interesting. Very far away and very expensive flight, yes. And the course is here. Workshop is very expensive. What number did you? Seven. And then he started to ask questions. How come that you spend time in your life and much money and fly here and put yourself on level seven? <laughs> oh, my God. And he continued to put, give me questions. I couldn't give and I couldn't answer. The sweat was starting to run. And he continued. What, oh, oh, what is the name of Lagom in English? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. After about five minutes, he finished. But these five minutes, I never will forget. I thought, that cool shower in five minutes gave me an enormous lesson. That it was a uh, turning point in my life. Because there I, I understood deep, deep in every cell in my body that uh, the, level, the number was which value I put on myself. So, and uh, those people who had been, it was a course, a workshop, people did once, twice, and so on. And they who have visited it before, they had all ten, of course, like this. <laughs> but it was so clear that every choice I do shows the value I put on myself. This was just the beginning. Then, <laughs> then there was an exercise. All people should deep... Uh, brief, very deep, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe. And we should try to find the, the, be, the personal belief I have about myself. I didn't know that I had a, a personal belief about myself. And okay, I breathed, I breathed like that. And suddenly, very clear, I saw it in front of me. You are not good enough. And I lived whole, my whole life without knowing that deep in Kai there was a belief which said, you are not good enough. My God, it was fantastic. And it, it was the absolutely most normal. 85% had this belief, I'm not good enough. Many women had the belief, oh, the, the, the deep belief about myself. <sighs> as a woman in this society is that I'm not, uh, that I am without value. And some women also had, I am nothing. And the first insight you had to take, really to take, is that that belief is not true. Of course it's not true. Because that belief has other people put in your head. Maybe your parents, maybe your school, maybe a whole society. Society has put that in your head. So that's not true. And then, oh, it's so very difficult to change that be belief because it's so deep. But I am not okay. And when you got this question, how can you be absolutely sure that you are not okay? Okay. <laughs> 
absolutely, yes, we're absolutely sure, of course, I can't be. <laughs> then you open the door and change the view, the thought of yourself. And that's fantastic. That was the first insight. It is a lie. You were born with potential, of course, and you were born good. But um, you were born absolutely okay, so to say. The next insight was the only one who can change that belief is yourself. You must yourself change that belief. There can be hundred people around you saying to you, but you are so fantastic, you are fantastic and wonderful and so on. But if you don't believe it, you will say, mm, I just walked by and it was so little and so little and so on. <laughs> you have to change that belief. So that workshop was fantastic for me. It was a turning point in my life. I started to value myself as a 10. And I, for me, it was absolutely clear that I am good enough. You are good enough. And everybody here is, of course, good enough. All else is a lie. Everyone here is good enough. And it uh, showed results in my way of working. I'm a f film director. And, well, and uh, as a film director, I work with the, in the team, the crew, there are around 30 people. Cameraman, C, photo, B, photo, B, sound, and so on. 30 people. And every morning we have a meeting. And every morning I said, this, this scene we are going to take today, we are going to shoot today, it is a 10. Not a 9, not an 8, not a 7. And I could say that without joking, without shying, and so on. Just clear, because for me it was absolutely true. I am worth the best. We are all worth the best. You here are all worth the best. So I could say that really clear right out. Today we're going to shoot and we're going to have a 10. And I also said this 10 really exists, already exists. It depends on us to prepare us so we can take it when it comes. And that's fantastic. That energy that comes in the team is enormous. Oh, it already exists. Ooh. <laughs> maybe, maybe it comes before lunch. <laughs> and so, yes, it's true. And we did 10. We did 10. Well, yes, we get it. We got it. We got it. And <laughs> we had one in the crew. <laughs> this is very funny. A man from from Haparanda, the highest uh, town in Sweden. He sometimes said, oh man, um, but Kai, today we, sh we got a damned fucking 11. <laughs> today we got an 11. Okay, talk with you uh, some minutes just around this uh, subject. Just say oh, what you think about this and so on. Please? <laughs> yes, please? Okay. Yes, for me it's true that everyone here in this room affects and influence who we are when we leave this room and what happens in this room. I, so to say, that has been absolutely true and I have learned it from when I work as a director. Here is the camera, here is an actor on a chair, for example, and here is all different team members, sound band, costume, mask, and so on. And for me, 
<laughs> it's so absolutely true that everyone here in this room affects that person and also affects what is coming in, the, res the result in the camera. It's absolutely true. And you know, <laughs> it's not so easy to get everyone to understand that. But I'm just the person who is the driver and pick up the, the actor at the airport. But you are enormous important. What you shine out when you meet the actor, what you say in the car when you drive him or her back, how, what you vision, what is your own vision about what we are, how we are working and so on. So it is absolutely true for me that everyone here affects the result in the camera. It doesn't all depend on me. It's so obvious. I have uh, uh, worked with this so many years, so it's so absolutely clear. And also what different persons think also affects the result. You all know this yourself. All of you have met other people with a negative and, and got a negative thought in your head. We all got it. For example, you have to talk in front of 20 or 30 people like this. And you come in there in the room, and there are the, they waiting. And you come in there, and suddenly, oh, my gosh, he is here. My God, no. <laughs> that, of course, is a negative thought. And a negative thought is an attack. Or maybe another kind of thought. You come in like this, oh, my God, no, not such a one like today. All such thoughts are negative thoughts, and we all got it sometimes. But see what happens if you uh, can, if you see, when you are talking there. You are talking there, talking there, and when you come up close to that sector where that person sits or stands, you are talking, talking, and when you come close to that sector, you always look in the floor like this and go on there. And then you are talking and talking and look at, the thing, uh, at some lamps up there and so on. You tend to go away from that person. Or another thing, your absolutely true self, the one you were mentioned to be, don't shine to that person. A negative thought about another person is an attack. And sub in the subconscious, you think he or she knows what you have, what kind of thing, thought you had about her. So you expect an attack back. When you have an, a negative thought about another person, you create an enemy in the room. And, and if you have an enemy in the room, you feel fear. And if you feel fear, it is impossible for you to give out an absolute, true, authentic, real smile. You, you can fake a smile and say, very, very, of course, and so on. But a real smile, it is impossible. And all of you, all of we, know that if I got a negative thought about another person, it's because he or she reminds me of something I don't want to see in myself. So it, there out is the best gift. It's a possibility for me to learn something about myself. There's a wonderful quote in A Course in Merkel who says, when you meet somebody, remember, it's a holy encounter. As you see him, you will see yourself. What you think about him, you will think about yourself. How you treat him, you will treat yourself. For in him, you can find yourself or lose yourself. The one who learned me all about this started, to, uh, started to, for me to think about all this was Mother Teresa. Now she is dead. I saw a documentary movie about Mother Teresa. Uh, and a, a film team has followed her all around the whole planet say hello to presidents there, and uh, take, get some prize there, and uh, 
washing the floor there and helping poor, dirty people there. But there is a sequence when there is a war in Lebanon. Lebanon. Uh, it's about 30 years ago, I think. And the town, there is, uh, there is this uh, line in the town on the other side there. They are bomb shooting so, and they are shooting so. They are bombing there, and they are bombing there. She's there. And on the other side of that line, she knows there is a, a small home for uh, children, sick children. And she says, I want to go there. And everybody says around her, no, it's, imp it's important. Possible. It's dangerous. <laughs> you hear in the background, <laughs> like that. But she says, I want to go there. And so, and she got a car, and she, we can follow her through that city. And the team, is, the comrade team, is also following her. And it, on the other side of that line, uh, the car stops and there's a small house. And she walks out to see, you know, how she is. And the cameraman is beside her, walking with the camera like this, and comes in that room. The first picture that comes up is an 11-year-old boy in a bed, very thin, laying like this. And the next, what happens next? A hand comes in that picture and starts to give that boy massage here, just here. And the cameraman is so curious, thank God for that, because he tilts up the camera and in comes in the picture uh, her face, and her face is smiling, like this, <sighs> like this. And he looks at the face, and then he goes back with the camera, and in front of the camera, the boys st get still. And in the end, it comes a small, small smile. And then there is a cut. The sequence is finished. After that, there is a sequence from a Ma Mother Teresa school. Young women from the whole world comes and shall be Mother, T Mother Teresa sisters. And Mother Teresa says, there is nothing more healing than an absolutely true, authentic, real smile. That's what she says. That is the absolutely most healing thing in the world, to give another person an absolutely true, authentic, real smile. And then, in that sequence, there is a woman, young woman, who hold up her hands and say, how long time takes it to learn to come close to a person who has been in the street maybe in two weeks in his own shit and look uh, and smells ugly, to go up to that person with a real authentic smile. Then Mother Teresa says, normally it takes seven years to be free from your own fears. And that was the secret. When I am without my fears, then and only then I can give out an absolutely true, authentic uh, smile. So, uh, just breathe on that, and I will see. Uh, we'll see on my papers. <laughs> now I'm uh, with Mother Teresa. <laughs> yes, no, yes, <laughs> you remember. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much time do I have, but I'll. <laughs> I met, uh, I was on, in another workshop, you know, um, on a, on a doctor and psychiatrist, psychi how do we spell that? Psychiatry. Yeah, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you know, I'm from Sweden, so I'm not so used with English. But he, he had a workshop, and he talked about uh, different experiments he had done. For example, he had done experiments with rather newborn babies and walked with them up, showing them that signal, a circle, two circles, and a half circle like that, coming like that. And all 
babies reacted like that. And then he <laughs> took the baby up to that, and all babies reacted like that, <laughs> full of energy. So it is a very, very deep signal. Or he also told about another experiment. It's, it's rather funny. He had two groups, equal age and so on. And uh, in a room there and in a room. And they had uh, exercise bikes, you know, sitting like that. And the only one, the only picture they had in front of them was this picture. Just there, and then he had a lot of measure instruments, electrical, and so on, and measured what was happening, and they were biking like that, and also the same thing here, and they had that picture in front of them, and also biking like that. And it was interesting, they were very fast tired. <laughs> so they were here like that, and here, whoa, <laughs> interesting. That deep message is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> but how can I work with all this knowledge practically when I work with other people? For example, in my work. It can happen. I mean, I'm not Dalai Lama. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not Dalai Lama. <laughs> No one here is Dalai, Dalai Lama. At least in my work, it happens that I get very frustrated. And oh, oh, like this, and so on. But, okay, for example, the cameraman stands there, and it's a beautiful light. And it's just five minutes left until the sun is away. And the cameraman stands there, ooh, what a beautiful light. The battery is finished. Oh, my God. And I think that the boy who is going to the electric equipment car to take a new bus walks like this. I think he walks like this. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly I hear myself, Oh, my God, damn shit! Run! Run! For hell, run! <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's so... And remember, next morning, I'm going to stay there in front of the whole, everybody in the team and say, today we're going to make a 10. It already exists, and I'm going to look everyone in the face. How can I manage this? I have attacked somebody, and I have guilt and so on. Of course, I can talk to him and so on. So... I did this when I made As It's in Heaven, and also when I made the last one. The title in English is Heaven on Earth. I asked a photographer to take a photo of everyone in the team. Here I have a package of 35 pictures. And I told the photographer to say, to t put them in front of the camera and help them to be just like a child. Let them stay there and just look in the camera. <coughs> Take the picture. So here I have 35 such pictures. Every morning during 90 days, I woke up very early in the morning, took the, this package, sat, sat there with this in, the hand, in my hand, and looked after one another at each one, and try to find one thing I absolutely true can say I appreciate and is very thankful for. So here, for example, is Sarah, who is cos costume assistant. It could look like this. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> you are fantastic, Sarah. Uh, you, you know, uh, we want this some special boots for her in that scene. And I, I, I think, I, I remember you came with 10 boots and I was not really satisfied. 
and you can withstand news boots. And also again, ten new boots until we find the boot. Oh, thank you very much, Sara, for that energy you put in. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, <laughs> here is Hasse. <laughs> Hasse, you are wonderful. You are C photo, the man who takes care of the camera. I mean, clean it. He <laughs> you are fantastic. You <laughs> take care of the camera as it is your own child. <laughs> and how... Oh, my God, I remember Hasse. Suddenly, the cameraman said, I need a long shot lens. And how quick you could run after that long shot lens and put it in and so on. And it was clean up there and so on, ready. It's fantastic. And how come you are always smiling when you are working? That's fantastic. Thank you very much, Hasse. Okay. 35 pictures, 35 persons. Who am I after this? I've cleaned myself from all uh, frustrations and so on yesterday. And I'm like this. Where are they? I'm going to meet them today again. <laughs> That's right. That is fantastic. That is the best thing I ever have done. The one who, who uh, learned me this was an old teacher who was in a small school. She had 18 children in her class. And she told me every morning she had a, a card like this. They had put 18 pictures. Every morning I sit a while and look at every child and try to find something very good in every child. Pelle, you have much energy. <laughs> this is good for the planet. <laughs> <laughs> and so on and so on. And then, then she told again the secret. Then, you know, I can meet every child in the door with an absolutely true, real, authentic smile. That's fantastic. It happens when I have a workshop from Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday. It happens in the afternoon on Sunday. For example, there is 50 persons. I say, you 10 go to there, you 10 go to there, you 10 go to there, you 10 go to there. And they have to sit in a circle like this. And one has to, to go in the middle. And they have to start here. And after each one other, they have to say one thing. They absolutely, well, so that, that is absolutely true. What I appreciate and thank, is thankful for in you. So that starts. One thing I'm really great with you is, and so on, and so, and oh, it happens all the all time. Maybe here, a thought, man or women, this happens. <coughs> Tears comes every time, and I think about why comes tears. Because we need help to be free from that old belief, you are not good enough. So here, here starts the process, maybe I am good enough. Maybe all these fantastic things, I am unique, maybe that is true, that maybe that is in me. And everyone helps that person to walk out and maybe feel I am good enough. The greatness in me. So that is a fantastic movie, a moment. And then, of course, they have to change. 
uh, and the next one, it, be, it, it takes normally three hours, so we can't do that now. <laughs> For 800 years ago, it lived a poem, poet in uh, Persia. For over 800 years ago, he wrote this short poem. It's fantastic. You were born with potential. You were born with goodness and trust. You were born with ideals and dreams. You were born with greatness. You were born with wings. You were not meant for crawling. So don't. You have wings. Learn to use them and fly. That's what he says for 800 years ago. That is fantastic. You were born with potential. That was the truth. Thank you very much for these 35 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. 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 Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Kai Pollack. Thank you. And thank you also for doing this in English. I mean, <laughs> that is really amazing. It was amazing. very difficult. No, but it, it, it made it all the more charmer, really. And thank you for all those wonderful pieces of advice. I mean, not only a film director, but such an inspirational speaker with so much mm. charm and so thank much you insight. Very much. Thank you. Okay, what's it? Thank you. <laughs> then we all created this together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened.